Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I am starting off my top 10 list for the year. Um, this is probably going to be the last couple of videos I'm probably going to do for 2018 that I already pre-recorded before I left. So this is a planned video, so I'm just going to go through my top 10 movies of 2018. This is in no particular ranking order. Well, it's kind of in a ranking order for me just based off of what I've seen this year so far. So number 10 is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I know you're probably asking why the heck I have it at number 10. Um, number 10 overall, just because there's just so many movies that's been out this year, and Spider-Verse actually made it onto my top 10 as the best because it's been a while since we've had a good animation movie. And Spider-Man, we've had so many redos. The last one, Homecoming, was good. This one is probably one of my favorites, and I definitely see it being nominated for Best Animated Movie at the Oscars. Number nine is A Star Is Born. Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper are the best combination of people. This movie, honestly, it was so hyped up. I was looking forward to seeing it probably when I saw the trailer, and it lived up to the hype. I loved it. It was honestly a great masterpiece. If Gaga does not get an Oscar, I will be throwing hands. Number eight would have to be Bumblebee. Listen, I had low expectations going into this Transformers movie, but it exceeded my expectations. Honestly, Haley Steinfeld, I, I kind of had a little bit of worry when she was casted. I mean, no lie, no shade. But she played this role great. Having the Bumblebee like in the 80s is just pretty cool. Honestly, I, this movie was honestly one above expectation. I was just really surprised by how good it was. And I hope we get that in later movies. Because you know they ain't going to stop making Transformers movies. Number seven, A Quiet Place. Let me tell you, it's been a while since I've had a horror movie actually scare me. This movie really scared me. The fact that you have everybody just trying to stay quiet from these monsters, I'm just like, wow. This literally scares me. Like, I didn't even want to say anything in the theater or go to the bathroom because I did not want to miss anything. I didn't want to start a thing. I was paranoid. <laughs> like, that's was how crazy it was. I was paranoid that the little monster was going to come out of nowhere. My number seven. My goodness. Am I in the right order? My goodness. I'm not in the right order. Number six. My goodness. Crazy Rich Agents. Crazy Rich Asians, I was looking forward to this because I kind of kind of rela rela relatable. My words are so bad today, guys. I found the movie relatable because, you know, as an ethnic, you know, person of ethnic background, I have that expectation of marrying somebody who is suitable for my family. And, you know, as a woman, you're kind of thinking, oh, no, I'm not going to make mom happy when they go meet me. So, yeah. And honestly, the cast is just hilarious. I loved it. Can't wait for the sequel to come out whenever it does, but it will be coming. All right, now, rounding up the top five. My number five movie of 2018 is Creed 2. Y'all know that this movie is more than just a boxing movie with me. I loved all the parts of it, of the story. I love that they brought back, you know, the Dragos and actually gave them an actual viable storyline. We got to see so much character development with Michael B. Jordan, Tessa Thompson, Sylvester Stallone. Definitely... Go ahead and see it this year. Creed 3 is most likely going to happen. It's rumored that it's going to be in 2020, so let's just hope for the best. Number 4, Aquaman. Now, even though I saw this movie just last night, I can put it in my top 5 because, again, it's a movie that went above my expectations and was actually pretty good. And honestly, Jason Momoa, like, this is a character that can honestly be kind of the leader of like DC kind of because since Henry Cavill's not here anymore I think he can be the lead because he's a pretty good superhero number three Incredibles 2 y'all thought Incredibles 2 wasn't gonna be on my list best believe it's on my list okay we waited 14 years for this sequel and it came back with a punch I'm so happy that we kind of picked up where we left off with the first one and it was still that viable story I love how Helen gets her own lead in this while Bob's off with the kids it's, and it just ties in together. I just love it all. And I can't wait for the third one. I mean, but the minimum wait is probably three years. That's it. All right, my top two. It's hard, it was hard to pick, but I had to round it off. My number two movie is Black Panther. Don't hate me, y'all. I have my reason. Black Panther wasn't just a good standalone movie. It was a good superhero movie. It was more than just like a hero has been movie. It had culture. It had heritage to it. It paid homage to a whole country that's been underrated and looked down on for so long. And as an African, I was so happy watching this movie. I even cried. I cannot wait for this freaking sequel. I just need a release date, y'all. 
And my number one movie for 2018 has to go to Infinity War. Listen, guys, this movie was a long time coming. We have 10 years culminating into this. And this was the movie of the year that shook everybody. Like, this movie changed everything. This movie just shook us all. I, I, should I spoil it, really? Because y'all know half the people dusted. And then we get an M game in a couple of months. So, yeah, that's basically that. Just basically shook the whole world. And that's my top 10 movies of 2018. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite and what movies you're looking forward to in 2019. Anyways, your girl peace out. More love. Have a great holiday, guys. Bye.